when they were making my omelet, I saw the guy like pouring oil in a pan and I was like, oh, just curious, like what oil are you using? And he said, canola oil. And I was like. Now this is a result of fear mongering and misinformation like this. Now omega-6 fats fuel the inflammatory pathways. In the oils are horrible for humans. The process of making these oils, it really isn't pretty. You really don't want to ingest this stuff ever. It's disgusting. Look on the back. Sunflower seed and or expeller pressed canola oil. These are the oils you want to avoid. These cause inflammation. You just get rid of all the corn, soy, canola, um, cotton seed oil. Just throw them away. Get rid of them. Don't even donate them. They just do not belong in your diet. Inflammatory oil. It's sunflower oil, which is inflammatory. Processed inflammatory oil. Sunflower oil. Inflammatory. And this stems from this. Elites are constantly working to differentiate themselves from the lower classes. In doing so, they often distinguish themselves by cultivating tastes, diets, and physical appearances that are in opposition to those of the subordinate groups. These social distinctions serve to naturalize and normalize social hierarchies. By the 1600s, though, the European market for spices had leveled out they'd become, generally speaking, widely affordable. When spices became common, nobles decided they reflected middling tastes. To distinguish themselves from the baser appetites of the masses, the upper classes embraced new essentialism, demanding that food taste like itself. You don't let anyone give you shit, okay? Healthism, clean eating, it's an ancestral practice.